the future of the U.S. economy. With so much uncertainty in the air, it's natural, it's natural to fret about the security of your retirement savings. But there's one asset that stands the test of time, gold. It's a biblical currency. And for centuries, gold has been a hedge against market volatility and economic instability. With a gold IRA from Noble Gold Investments, if you go to www.pastorpaulgold.com, that's www.pastorpaulgold.com, you can harness the power of precious metals to help protect your financial future. By rolling over your existing IRA or your 401k into a self-directed gold IRA, you can enjoy the potential for long-term growth and stability. Diversify your portfolio with tangible asset that has real value, gold. Setting up your gold IRA has never been easier. And at www.pastorpaulgold.com, they will help streamline the process with expert guidance. And in this election year, don't let the election volatility and the uncertainties of the Middle East and other factors keep you up at night. Vote for the timeless safety of gold and silver in 2024. Noble Gold Investments, they will give you up to 10 of these. Now this is unbelievable. You could get 10, if you qualify, 10 of these beautiful one ounce pure silver Donald coin, Donald Trump coin, one ounce pure silver. You could get 10 of these, or you could just get this 10 ounce silver bar of the American flag. All of it could be yours. Get one of these, be blessed. Just go to www.pastorpaulgold.com. That's www.pastorpaulgold.com. You'll be glad you did. A rare First Temple period stone seal featuring Paleo Hebrew script and an image of a protective demon has been discovered in Jerusalem. Found in the Davidson Archaeological Garden near the Temple Mount, the seal is about 2,700 years old and bears an inscription. The seal, which likely belonged to a senior official in the Kingdom of Judah, depicts a winged figure with Assyrian influences which is a unique find in Israeli archaeology. The image was initially created as an amulet with the inscription added later. The Times of Israel has reported. Now this artifact highlights the cultural blend of Judaic and Assyrian influences during that period, and the full details will be presented at the City of David Research Conference set for September the 4th. The world is experiencing an alarming series of apocalyptic events, historic weather disasters, earthquakes, droughts, wildfires, impending economic collapse, the rise of AI. In Revelation 9-11, Pastor Paul Begley and Pulitzer-nominated journalist Troy Anderson investigate if these are the true signs of the end time. Is this the final meeting of current events and prophecy referred to in the Bible? Revelation 9-11. Order it on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and Target.com. Rescuers found no survivors after a helicopter carrying 22 people, mostly tourists, crashed in Russia's Kamchatka Peninsula. The aircraft went missing on Saturday near the Vatkazets volcano, and 17 bodies have been recovered so far. The crash site was discovered in a hilly area, with wreckage near where the helicopter had disappeared from radar. Thick fog and harsh weather have hindered rescue efforts, which are set to resume on Monday. Pilot error, possibly due to the fog, is the main suspected cause of the crash, the BBC has reported. Now, the helicopter was owned by a company that organized tourist flights in the region. A small plane crashed into a townhouse in Fairview, Oregon killing three people, including the pilot, a passenger, and a resident. 
The crash, which occurred at 10.20 a.m. local time when the Cessna 421C experienced mechanical issues, sparked a massive fire that spread to four units and likely displaced five families. The plane initially hit a power pole, causing a small brush fire before crashing into the homes. Firefighters quickly contained the blaze, and no mayday call was reported, NBC News has reported. The FAA and the NTSB are currently investigating the incident. Breaking news, everyone. Glad you're with me. Are you serious? Things are getting very, very dangerous in the Middle East. There is movement. There is things taking place as we speak. And uh, let me tell you all about it. First, I'm going to put a shout out real fast for everybody that's not saved. Every person on the planet, everyone that hears this video, if you haven't given your life to Jesus Christ, you need to consider doing it now. We are so close to the rapture. We've never been this close. I don't know the day or the hour that the Lord is coming, but the prophecies in the Bible, and we wrote about even here in our book, Revelation 9-11, tells us that we are on the brink of the beast. We're on the edge of eternity. We're in the apocalyptic hour, really. Something biblical is definitely going on with the signs of the second coming, second coming of Christ. I want you to know right now that God loves you. And you can be saved and be filled with the joy and take away all that anxiety and all that uh, concern and, uh, and, and that feeling of not knowing where you're saved or lost. That can go away today. Just give your life to Jesus Christ. Let him come into your heart. Repent of your sins and be born again. And get ready for the coming of the Lord. All right? All right.